to your technology iPhone 14 Pro Max versus Pixel 7 Pro speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now the Google Pixel 7 Pro is a little bit newer than the 14 Pro Max in terms of launch date, but it came out just a little bit ago, like a couple weeks ago announced. And this Pixel 7 Pro did turn on faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This has the Tensor G2 CPU. Over here, we do have the Apple A16 Bionic chipset with six gigabytes of RAM. On the Pixel 7 Pro, 12 gigabytes of RAM. And these are probably the two hottest phones on the market right now. Okay, so in terms of biometrics, this does feature Face ID housed within the Dynamic Island up there. And you can see it's very quick, although there's no real way to bypass the lock screen. It does have raise to wake, which makes it very fast. Now the Pixel 7 Pro does use the in-display fingerprint sensor. So you can go ahead like that and you can see both of them unlock very fast. Now there is a face unlock on the Pixel 7 Pro. However, I don't really use that because it's not as secure as the in-display fingerprint. But the in-display fingerprint is now a little bit more accurate than last year's with the Pixel 6 Pro. Swiping just through these home screens, I can tell you both of these phones are absolutely buttery. They're super smooth, like, like butter slipping off the pan of your, your next eggs or whatever. Like these things are smooth right here. So definitely either way you go, you're not gonna be thinking, oh, if I get this phone, it's gonna be smoother than this Pixel 7 Pro. Or if I bought the iPhone, my iPhone is so much smoother than your Pixel 7 Pro. No, bro, nah. Neither phone is way smoother than the other. They're both 120 Hertz. They both operate at a very amazing pace. So that's very good there as well. Okay guys, so here we are at the application portion of this speed test. Everything closed out for both phones. Let's begin with calendar. And you could see faster for the iPhone, swiping out the gesture seem to go home first. On the Pixel, we'll go into calculator. You could see a little faster for the iPhone. And let's go into clock. You could see, it looks like the animation's a little faster on the iPhone just out the gate. We can tweak that. This was the Pixel. We can tweak that in developer options for Android devices. Not make an excuse. The iPhone is out of the box. A little snappier on those so far. Let's go into Play Store. You can see iPhone faster there to load that stuff up. Heading out, we'll go into Instagram. And you can see Instagram. First, it looked like that was kind of close. One was loading a picture, one was loading notifications, let me know. When actually in Instagram, and you do open a post though, let's go to this one right here. You can see everything operates at about the same clip. So you can see right there, open up some comments on both of them, pretty cool. We go over here, again, when actually in the application, both of them very smooth and pixel does one of the best jobs at posting you know instagram photos by comparison to iphones so both of them do good there we're going to twitter and you can see twitter is first there on the left let's go over to my profile page we'll go ahead and click this latest link right here you can see once you're in you can actually enjoy the performance on both of them very easily we'll go into groupon and that's to the pixel we'll go to categories that's to the pixel again things to do and that was maybe to the pixel i didn't see that one was pretty close let's go ahead and click something well not that let's go over here well not that again let's click something that's similar here on both of them so if i click that right there you can see pretty similar so swiping out of there we'll go into amazon for both devices and you can see pretty similar for both of them there once you're actually in amazon it's going to be about the same, not very different. Now that pixel does have a very fast scroll. So that is definitely different. We'll go into Best Buy and let's go to products here and we'll go into computers and tablets and we'll go into laptops and you could see basically when you're in these applications and you're just using this stuff day to day, pixel is faster there. It just kind of depends on the app. Some apps open faster on the iPhone. Some of them open faster on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. But I have to tell you, the iPhone has been smooth for a long time, but so has the Pixel series. But these days, you know, this Pixel 7 Pro, man, 
it's blowing me away in, in terms of performance for an Android phone. Like, yes, the gaming is still gonna go to the iPhone. How many people buying a Pixel 7 Pro are hardcore gamers? I'm not sure it's many. This is more of a mainstream phone for people who use, you know, smartphone for smartphone tasks. Gamers will probably want something with a little bit better GPU performance, stuff like that. We're going to Asphalt 9, but if you're questioning how does it perform, I tried a few out. The Pixel 7 Pro definitely gets a little warm, but it can handle most mobile titles pretty easily. Um, it's not gonna blow away the iPhone. The iPhone still wins out there in performance. And even the Galaxy phone is a little bit better, like the S22 Ultra in that area I found, but it's not like the end of the world. The Pixel 7 Pro is still the smoothest Android phone I've ever used so far. We'll go into Subway Surfers and you could see this one's to the iPhone. So even just loading these games, you can tell the iPhone is more powerful. But again, at the end of the day, how much gaming are you doing? How serious gaming are you doing? If you're doing a lot, you might want to pick something else. Let's go into Temper Run 2 if you're going for the Android side. But that little notification probably delayed us a little bit. Definitely did. I'm going to go ahead and hit play anyway. And you can see pretty similar on both of them. So once in the game, you could see no major issues whatsoever. Let's go into Geekbench 5 up here. And you could see this one's going to the Pixel 7 Pro. Geekbench 5 still not updated for the newer iPhones. We'll go into 3D Mark. And you could see about the same. I didn't skip that out, but overall, just hopping through most of these applications, it seems like I can use, you can use either one of these phones and get by and enjoy them. They're both buttery smooth. It's just down to, do you want Android or do you want iOS? What do you want to use? You want to use the Google services? Do you want it to be polished and simple? Use the Android device. Do you want to use a polished, simple Apple ecosystem? Use the iOS device. I'm so happy we have both of these options. They're both amazing. What we're gonna do now is see if we get any reloads. Now, I don't expect any for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and you could see this is one area I love the 14 Pro Max when you're kind of just using your apps day to day and you're just hopping between stuff like opening up messages, going to you know buy something on Amazon, swiping through to check out the weather, you know, going to Instagram, coming back over here to the weather again. We'll go to the clock. We'll go to calculator here. What am I doing today? I'm missing taps. <laughs> You'll see right there. Overall, just butter with that. Now, let's see how the Pixel does. I actually haven't tried this yet, so this is going to be my first time doing this test. But you can see super smooth. I do have to kind of. Yeah, so you can see there's not really a big delay or anything like that when going through these on the Pixel either. And this is an area where I find a huge amount of delay on some other Android devices where they just look choppy and just horrible coming back through the application. So this is one of the areas the Pixel performs stellar as well. So buttery smooth going back through on the Pixel as well. I mean, these phones are like, this is the Android, you know, this is the iPhone. They're both top of the line. So they both did excellent there. <laughs> oh my, look at this. The iPhone's done. We're still waiting on the Pixel and the benchmarks. Are you really surprised by this? Take a look at this. 1884 single core 5399 multi. These scores are like computer level scores, like laptop level scores, maybe better than some of those products. If I go to the single core, you can see it's even beating out iPads with M1s right here. That's ridiculous. iPhone 12 Pro beating that out quite easily, beating out the 12 Pro Max. But if you take it over here to the multi-core score, you can see that it's not quite beating iPad there, but definitely close and definitely destroying things like 12 Pro Max and 12 Pro on the synthetic benchmarks. Now, if you take a look at the pixel score, it's a 1056, so not even close and not even that much higher than something like an S21 Ultra. Now, if we go to multi-core score, you can see it's like half of that of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But here's the reality of it, because Google is controlling the software and the hardware and kind of doing a similar thing here that Apple does, we're controlling the whole ecosystem. They're able to make this phone feel like it performs twice as fast as the scores would indicate. So take it with a grain of salt. The truth is, is that if you really need this power on the iPhone, you're probably gonna be rendering video 
playing AAA titles. Well, you're probably not playing those on an iPhone, but you know what I mean, like the top level gaming titles. And you're gonna be running, you know, 4K cinematic video all day long and using things that really push that CPU. If you're doing that, maybe this will be the phone for you, but I'm telling you, day to day, the Pixel is a boss regardless of the synthetic benchmark. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the camera speed on both of them, three, two, go. And you could see iPhone a little faster. Let's do that again, three, two, go. And honestly here, I think I would take the Pixel for photography. We will do a full comparison, but the Pixel is just really smart at photography, whereas the iPhone is also smart, but I just like the way the Pixel processes photos. But if you like video, I find that video, I just like more on the iPhone. And that's why I'm still using the iPhone. The video is great on the Pixel as well, don't get me wrong. But this is the photo phone for me. This is the video phone for me. But we're gonna compare these in a full comparison soon. Overall on the speed test, I will say, if you wanna get technical, the 14 Pro Max is still king. However, if you wanna get technical, in reality, they're both about a similar performing phone. So you gotta choose, do you like the design of Pixel 7 Pro? Do you like the design of 14 Pro Max? Or which one do you want? But I'm gonna really break those down in a full analysis, a full comparison, coming soon so stay subscribed stay stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys all in the next video thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you all have a great day stay safe and peace